This is an introduction into the Visual Job Scheduler for Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. The VJS, the Visual Job Scheduler, is the resource and project planning drag and drop front end to the standard jobs resource modules of Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. In this video, I will demonstrate the VJS with a typical use case how many of our customers work with the product. After that, I will summarize the benefits, the key features, and make some final comments on the availability of the VJS. The use case is the case of a typical project services or engineering to order company. Typically, these companies provide their services as a custom project delivery to their clients. Also typically, they have certain types of projects that follow a certain structure. Certain structure means the project tasks are similar, the sequence is similar, and the general resource need is also somewhat similar. Hence, these companies want to create templates for their projects, then create a new project from a template, and then quickly change the schedule for that specific project. That means they want to time schedule as well as resource schedule the project. This means they need to quickly change the duration of the tasks coming from the template. They might need to add a few tasks or to split tasks and assign them to other resources. Speaking of resources, they need to see which resources are available for that project and when. Then they need to assign the work from a resource group to a dedicated resource. Let's have a look how you can time and resource schedule your projects with the VJS. This is the VJS. When you start the Visual Job Scheduler, you can define and select between multiple filters. And what I do now, because we want to add a project from a template, I show you quickly how my project templates look like. So I have four project templates that mirror uh, different types of project, and some of them are simple and some of them are complex. And what I will do now, we will take this project master lean, which is this one, and if we drill down, so I can collect them. So this is one project that you see all these project tasks, and when I expand them, we can see all the job tasks. These are these things here, and then the job planning lines, and you see that I defined dependencies, which is a visual job scheduler functionality, and you see that this job, it starts with a technical specification, then it's a design approval, and then the field installation starts with various phases and various steps, and we need different types of resources for it. So this is my project template. It's the Project Master Lean template. And based on this template, I will now create a new job. So I leave the Visual Job Scheduler for a second um, and just enter the standard job functionality. And we create a new job and you see that actually I have a list of jobs. Some of them are my templates and then the one starting with J, these are my regular jobs. And create a new one. New job in intro video. Video, let's type it right. Okay, is this for the Canon group? My number one customer. And I want to copy now the job tasks from my template job. So I go to action, standard business central functionality, copy job tasks from, and then I can select my template job, which was the project master lean, I think it was, yeah. Bam. And I take the first and I start from the first task to the last so that we copy the entire project. And you see, you can only also copy just parts of the job, but I want to copy everything and I copy the quantity. And now you see my job planning lines here automatically get populated. And again, this is business central functionality. So now I have created a new job, job 250. And now um, in intro video, typing is sometimes tough. So and now I have the new job um, and we want to schedule it from the visual job scheduler. So I open again the visual job scheduler, but now from the filter, I say, hey, just show me the project. And this will include all the projects starting with my regular project numbers. And then you see a new project here has been added to my schedule. And you see, you can differentiate these jobs. And so now maybe let me quickly go to this job again 
open the job card, you can determine the color from here. Um, and let's make this show up in red. I need to quickly reload the data to apply this colored setting because now I changed data in the back end and now you see this new job is shown in red. So now the first thing that we could do is we can time schedule it. So let me expand it again. And we know that this job will not happen before the end of February. So I want to move the entire job, which I can do by moving it to beginning of week eight. And then the whole chain of underlying job planning line and job tasks got moved. Then I know, okay, for the first task here, um, this will be a complex job. So this will not take 16, day, uh, 16 hours, which is two days, but maybe we need one project manager for really so long a time. So I want to change the quantity. It will be not, maybe not two days, but four days. So I change the quantity and you see this got longer. Um, also, we need more experience on the technical office. So I change the quantity again here, and this may be now 48 hours, so it will be six days. This get long, and you see the you see the immediately the impact because I defined these links uh, already before that. Um, this is pretty awesome. So you see always these effects taking place, and now you see that for the for the uh, design definition, we need project manager and somebody in the technical office. So now. Maybe I want to add another resource to this task so we can go to the toggle creation mode. And then we say, okay, uh, we also need somebody actually um, who is responsible for the installation later. We need them in the definition of the product. So um, I grab this resource, drag it from here, drop it into here. And we say, okay, this guy needs to help us at least for two days in the beginning of the project while we kick this off. So now let's get rid of this part here. Um, now you see we added this new job planning line. It is not part of the link structure, but we can say, okay, it needs to start in parallel with this. So we can start a new link and um, end the link definition here. And now we say, okay, this is actually a start start link. And now these two are dependent from each other. So if this the first one moves, then this one moves, and then this one moves. And we say, okay, this also needs to get finished before this starts. So we define also a finish start link so that we have this dependency defined. So this is something that you can quite easily do. And then we say, okay, actually field installation um, is a big thing. And again, this will be maybe not um, 40 days, but it a uh, 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 four day, uh, three days, but it will be, let's say this is two weeks. It's 80 hours, really long, complex project. Then you see this all automatically updates. So we can do a lot of time scheduling here. And also if you say, okay, we don't want this activity to start on a Friday, but we want to start it on Monday. We move this and then the overall, the substructure gets moved again accordingly. So now this is the, the time scheduling that you can do with the VJS. So now let's look at the same project in a resource view. So we switch the view, go to the resource view, and then we see the same project, but now we, the same data now structured by resource groups and resources. And you see that everything now is scheduled to what we call a virtual resource here. This is a resource group. Um, that gives you the utilization, the aggregated utilization of this group. And now I can schedule the project. So I can say, okay, this one here, my project manager for this, I have free capacity with Mark and with Mary. So I want Mary to be my project lead for this. And I give her all the tasks. So I can assign all those tasks to Mary. And also that what comes in the end of the project um, I can really drag and drop stuff from a resource group to the resource and not only do the time scheduling, but also resource scheduling. So now let's look at 
um, uh, for example, this big thing that take where we said this takes two weeks, and now my customer calls and I, I said initially, okay, Alan will do the job, but now the customer calls and say, hey, could you send two people instead so that you get this done within the week? Which means I want to split, need to split this and assign it to a free resource. And I see, okay, Wayne actually is free, so what I can do is I can split the job planning line. It gives me an equal distribution, but I would say it was 60, then it uh, calculates the remaining quantity. So it, now I split it 40-40. Uh, uh, this creates a new job planning line. And the cool thing is it copies also the links and so that we keep the structure and I can copy uh, and I'll move it to Wayne from Alan so that they can work on this in parallel. And now if I want to close this gap, then from here I can say scheduled successors and then everything is brought forward again so that we get this done as soon as possible. So that means with the VJS in the resource view, you can do proper resource scheduling um, in the project view or in what we call the job view. You can do the time scheduling and you can also monitor the utilization of your resources with the histogram view. And you saw that I can very efficiently schedule and start scheduling my project and my resources from a project template. And this is the visual job scheduler for Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. Now that you've seen the VJS in action, let's summarize the benefits that you get from working with the visual job scheduler. First, you see all your project data at one glance. This means not just all jobs, all job tasks and all job planning lines, but also all resource allocations as well as percentage of completion data coming from timesheet submissions. Second, as you see data, you faster and more easily understand your project and resource schedule. With the VJS, you can define and manage dependencies, you understand where your bottlenecks are and you get notified if projects run late. This allows you to act, to act fast and take corrective measures immediately. This is supported by drag and drop scheduling, by splitting job planning lines, by reassigning tasks from one resource to another and so on. So let's look at the features which make this benefits possible. The VJS is built on the basis of the standard business center jobs and resource planning modules and it provides you with a fully integrated drag and drop scheduling front end to the standard functionality. The biggest feature is that it gives you a picture of your schedule and we all know that a picture is worth a thousand words. It comes with a project Gantt chart that allows drag and drop scheduling. It comes with a resource Gantt chart that allows drag and drop scheduling. You can choose that your drag and drop scheduling also includes the successor predecessor scheduling. The histogram view gives you a capacity utilization overview. The VJS provides you with visual alerts so that you can take actions fast. It comes with powerful filtering options and it seamlessly integrates with standard Dynamics 365 business center jobs and resource planning. The VJS is available for all Business Central versions as well as for Dynamics Nav and is available both on-prem and on Microsoft AppSource.